You guys, I am so excited for this video. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a unboxing for my iPad. I just bought the iPad Pro 11 inch, 256 gigabyte. And my bank account is screaming, but to be honest, this is something I've been wanting for the longest time. So I can insert a photo of my first iPad. I got it like 2015, my mom bought it for me. It was like the second generation iPad mini and she got it for me. And I was so happy and grateful that she got it for me because she got me one and my sister one. And then I had it for like four years. I kid y'all not. I got my MacBook over the years because I needed that for college to print stuff because I didn't really have a reliable computer. And I was just like, you know what? I need a bigger screen. I need more memory. It only had 16 gigabytes. So I was just like, I need a bigger one. So last Christmas, I got the iPad 7th generation one, the 10.2, which that one was amazing. But when I was taking notes on it, I realized like the even the 32 gigabyte wasn't enough for me. So Apple came out with the new um, iPads this March, I think. And I was just like, oh my gosh, like this is my time to get this. So my little sister still had the iPad that we had four years ago. To this day, she still has it. So I decided to be a nice big sister and give her my 10.2 so she could use it the rest of high school and upgrade it to the iPad Pro. So I just don't want to brag or anything. I'm really, really, really grateful and blessed that I was able to buy this. And I feel like it is an investment piece. I do want to start a new hobby. I want to get back into photography and I'm thinking about graphic design and I'm also using this iPad for school. So I feel like it's just a win-win situation. So I ordered this three days ago, three or two days ago. I ordered it off of Best Buy's website because it kept getting sold out everywhere I wanted to buy it, like literally. I looked on Walmart's website, I looked on Target, I looked on Best Buy, like it just kept getting sold out. So that's kind of why I had to buy the 256 gigabyte. I really just wanted the 128, but I'm kind of grateful I did just get the 256 so that way I won't have to worry about memory at all. So, um, yes, this is my Apple Pencil. I got it from Best Buy as well, but I got it pre-loved. So I'm going to open all this stuff in front of the camera with you guys so we can see like how a pre-loved Apple Pencil is. And yeah, and I have my cases from Amazon. So if you guys are ready to see me unbox these, then just keep watching. I didn't know which angle would be good enough to do this. So yes, I think I'm gonna just unravel the iPad first. Like I'm gonna take everything out the packaging first. It's my gosh this is just the 256 like i said and yeah oh my gosh i am so excited so let me put that aside let me take the sticker off let me go ahead and open this so cute okay so it's a little bit darker purple than i imagined it but it's like a dark maroon one and let me take it out And then I got this paper like film. This isn't the brand paper like, but it's a knockoff and it was good enough for me. So I'm gonna put that on after I unbox it. But the case is pretty cute. And then last but not least, my pencil. Let's open this bad boy up. 
Oh wow, so this box is like literally torn up. Like I don't know if you guys can see, but the box had literally has so many scratches. But hey, it was a couple dollars off, so I don't really mind. Um, so yeah. I moved my desk so y'all can see a little bit better, but let me get my scissors. There she is. Oh, let me not put it on my hard <laughs> glass desk. I'm gonna just face it like this. And then I think I'm gonna put the screen protector on first before I start setting it up because that kind of makes sense to do that first to like expose the regular part and then let me flip this over and then you just put it on the ipad Okay, now I think I have it on the best I can. I'm gonna try to smooth these edges out. As y'all can see, like there's bubbles on it. Then I'm gonna take off this part. I'm gonna take my Victoria's Secret credit card and smooth it out. I'm gonna put the iPad in the case as well. Which, if you guys want me to link down below this case, I can. I can link down below the case and the screen protector. So let's turn it on. You guys know how Apple products work. The screen protector is on. All right, just asking me if I wanna switch my apps over. Use the welcome to iPad screen. Yay, finally. So I'm about to download all my apps now. So convenient now how you can like use information from your phone to set it up because back in the day when you get a new ipad you got to set up the wi-fi everything with this literally you just scan your phone and whatever apps you have on your phone literally could be on here but i didn't want to do that because i have different apps on my ipad than i do my phone but let's connect this pencil um this box is looking rough so hopefully as long as the pencil works, that's all that matters. But it says open box, excellent condition. I don't know what that means. What in the... It's not dirty, that's for sure. That was my main concern getting a used Apple pencil. I was like, if it is dirty, I'm gonna be mad. So, I guess you just stick it to the side because it's magnetic. And then it'll pair. See? Welcome to Apple Pencil. Double tap on your Apple Pencil to switch between the tool you are using. Is that all you have to do? Oh, I guess that's all you have to do. 
Oh, wow. It's on 9%, the Apple Pencil. Okay, so good thing I could start charging it now. So here's what my front page is looking like. And I'm still, I already got Pinterest and YouTube downloaded. So now I'm about to download the rest of my stuff. I forgot to show you guys, but the charger looks so different than the regular iPad that I have. Let me turn this on. I haven't seen a charger like this before. So this is pretty different. But yeah. I have almost everything set up. I got the Apple Pencil going, got all my apps downloading, and it's at 82%, which is charged. And now the Apple Pencil is charging, but I can do a video on what's on my iPad once I get everything situated. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe down below. And yes, so thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.